Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. I don't know why that was on prograde, but as you can see we are going to hop right to it with another attempt at the Lunar Orbiter contract and we are going to have throttle up, SAS on, and ignition. And launch. So daylight launch here. In this case our little orbiter stage has a lot more delta V and so that should help and it'll cut into the extra delta V we seem to always get with the Era B stage, the AJ-1027. Our next rocket, the Deneb, will definitely not be this color. <laughs> uh, I think we've, we've done our black rocket for this particular series. And booster set. And separation and ignition and fairings. Oh, I should really put less science in this one. Uh, we really need to get that orbital, orbital contract done. And it'd be lighter without the science. I mean, we want to get the science done, but you know. Getting the contract done will be nicer, and getting the contract done will allow us to get the impactor contract again, since there's another opportunity for that one, and that'll get us 15 science if we do that. We need to hunt for more of these contracts that give us free science. Well, everything up there is a little bit heavier, so I guess it's not a surprise that we stopped a little bit early from where we usually got to. Let's hope that the little Airbnb stage has enough. It's not as efficient as our upper stage stuff, so there is that. I mean, especially that KDU 414 that we're using for the first time. Yep, we need a lot more here. Yeah, after this one, if this doesn't work, we're going to dump the science, uh, probably reduce the solar panel, are we? because we won't need the probe to last as long without the science. We just need to get into orbit and it's done. Well, we're a little bit off though. But we're already rolling, so we'll just roll with it. And go. Ah, oh, the little error be failed anyway. Okay, well, this will give us a chance to test the little engines that we haven't used before, I guess, and we better. So uh, we'll have it do science in Earth orbit. We've got plenty to do here, and we'll see what we can pick up with it. So, separ well, let's throttle down first. Separation. Okay. So this will all still be in low Earth orbit, but we're going to circularize. Oh, let's check the solar panels. Ah. 41% wear. It's getting worse and worse again. I don't know. Seems weird. Just can't get good solar panels these days. Somebody really had it in for solar panels. Okay, so trying out these little MC4610s first. Because they're less efficient, but we are hoping for more burn time than they usually are rated for. Two minutes and 22 seconds instead of 57. But we'll see what happens. Gives you the actual role there the RNG results well all of them lasted for the duration that we expected them to or wanted them to next engine is the much more efficient KDU 414 272 seconds seem to get the same role I, I don't know Maybe that's not working right. Not sure what that's about. We are past its rate of burn time. 
But we're not going that far past. I don't know. I need to stop uh, using X and Z to thrall down when my thrall is actually being read. Okay, well, so that did fine. It used all of its propellant. So, yeah. But yeah, I wonder what the unmet requirements are. Okay, that'll be good enough shutting down avionics. Um, well, we're not recharging exactly. So let's just stop these things. Let's see. Looks like we have a lot of data. So maybe we should wait until it transmits that. Okay, we are recharging. Running the magnetic scan seems fine. We'll just continue working on that with this. All right, we'll leave it be. It sort of failed. We'll try and trim out the experiments and get a lighter probe for the next mission or next attempt. All right, but before we get to the next lunar orbiter attempt, we have our attempt to get to space with a space plane with Viola Zabo. And this is her first flight. Uh, we don't seem to have all of our kerosene. <laughs> um, well, I guess that sort of matches what we did with the drone flight, though. Do we even have the contract? Uh, we have a crew altitude record of 50 thing, but we don't have the contract. Uh, let's roll back and... Yeah. Let's, uh, let's recover this. So, high altitude. We really just need to get to 80 kilometers. Doesn't give us a whole lot, but it'll unlock the Karman line. And then suborbital they have at 110. I guess they weren't thinking that we could get to 140, huh? Okay, now it is properly filled up. Fly by wire on, throttle up, and... Let's find out. With the drone plane, we didn't really take off until like 110 meters per second, though. Or higher. Okay, well, gear up. Well, I guess we'll have to pour it on. Well, up goes Viola Zabo. I, I always get Kerbals with like gray hair or looking like they're very old. I don't know, just sort of a random thing I guess. Oh, we do have the high altitude flight. We might as well just wait on those things as well. I don't want to get too far from the space center though. As we climb here. I don't feel a need to accelerate. The rocket engine will certainly get us to 80 kilometers. Oh, did I remember to action group the jet engines at all? Let me have them up just in case. I think I action group them, but just in case. Pulling up. Okay, activating rocket engine. I think the fly-by-wire had an issue with going past 90 for a sec there. We're going a little bit backwards so that we can go to the space center again. Okay, I'm gonna try the action group. Oh wait, um... No, wrong thing turned off. <laughs> wrong thing turned off. Uh, both... Both action groups seem to be on the rocket engines instead of the jets. Whoops. Okay, now just the rocket. So I don't have any action group for the jets. I guess I'll keep them up. I don't know how I managed to action group the rocket engine twice, but 
uh, nine and zero. I usually use the last rock, uh, last uh, slots for the engines. RCS doesn't seem to be working very well. Oh, maybe the thrust from the engine was throwing us off. Well, we didn't get to 100, but we did what we were supposed to do. But that was probably because of the little full power with the jet engines. And shutting off the rocket engine early. Okay, well, we're sort of in our desired orientation. I don't expect to need the jet engines, but it's good just in case. We do have the kerosene available. It's possible for this that we don't even need the jet engines. We could replace them with fuel for the rocket engine and just go with the rocket engine from the start. Okay, air brakes. CS isn't going to do anything now. Oh, uh, I'm trying to pull up as hard as I can, but the flyby wire isn't really using all our pitch authority. Maybe it's safer that way, though. It's probably all right. The flyby wire has a G-force limit or something, maybe. Okay, well, we don't need the brakes anymore. Okay, now can I safely activate them just in case? Just in case. Okay, I'm gonna go to locked view. I still expect that we should be able to land without using the jets, but just in case, who knows. Okay, looks fine to me. I mean, technically, they are idling, I guess. The kerosene is being used a bit. They just don't make any sound. Okay, landing gear down. Seems to wiggle a little bit unnecessarily, but... Okay, drag shoots for... <laughs> Safety sake. Okay, we are down. Sort of off to one side, but no problems. All right, Biolazabo got to 80 kilometers, not 100 this time. Uh, we might want to underfuel that kerosene a bit too. I guess underfueling it was a good idea to begin with. We're carrying a lot of HTP that we don't need. So we can do that, but mainly the fact that I got the action groups wrong probably hurt a bit. Let's recover. Got a little bit of science, 1.2 credits. Oh, Probe has probably collected some. Let's see. I really want the orbital perturbation experiment. We're gonna unlock this, we're researching it now. And then we've got the entry, descent, and landing queued up. But let's just focus on more science. So we'll queue that as well. Just occupy that before I decide to do something else. As tempting as some of these other things might be, you know. Let's get the science. July 23rd, we'll have our next lunar orbiter. Oh, we completed the magnetic scan. Um... Yeah, actually, let's go to that probe and turn that off and see if we can get one of the other sciences done. Okay, here it is. How's that degradation going? 43%. I mean, considering it seemed to start out at 41%, I guess that's not bad. It's been 41 days. I don't blame, blame it for being at 43% now. Checked on, so. Okay, right. Stop that one. And let's try this micrometeorite detection well it's still bad well it says unmet requirements okay it says space high space low oh requires minimum eccentricity 
Is there any way we can make this more eccentric with like RCS or something? We're already spinning and everything though. Yeah, we're done. There's nothing else here. Okay, well, it might be able to act as a relay, I don't know. Back to Space Center. Alright, we'll have to keep in mind the eccentricity thing. Alright, uh, we won't top off the kerosene this time. We'll have a lot of it though. Check the action groups. I forgot all about the goo experiment. We should do more goo. We'll underutilize this HTP tank. And of course we have to put the rocket fuel back in. We have underutilized this tank in order to make up for the fact that we're clipping it in there. Anything else we have to redo? I hope the parachutes are nice and repacked. But it looks like our lunar orbiter will be complete first. Might as well alternate. And we probably have to get our Kerbal trained up again, even though it's the same mission. Well, it's going to be a nighttime launch. We And again, this is constrained by the fact that we uh, use the, the Gamma 2 stage to boost our apoapsis initially without stopping it. Okay, SAS on, throttle up, and might as well get this set up properly. Okay, ignition. Ah, oh, we have a failure. Okay, shut down, shut down. Yep, well, just a good old-fashioned test light failure. It rolled 98.12%. Okay, but that probably means, of course, that we're going to have to wait until the next opportunity, which is generally in 14 days. And so we're probably going to be... Well, it depends on how long our Kerbal takes to train up this time. Maybe it's going to take a while. Training August 20th. So yeah, we can do the Lunar Orbiter launch. Yeah, right now we're too close. You can tell by the orbit of our existing lunar orbiter that didn't quite make it that uh, that would be too soon. We have to wait for the moon to get over here now. Oh, we made progress. Ion sensing, altitude control, night image intensification. Such things. Uh, might be a little bit late after the rollout. We'll see. Oh gosh, why is it so dark now? We've got the world's most intense cloud, apparently. Okay, throttle up, SAS on, ignition. And launch. Well, let's get above the clouds. Well, we are above the clouds and now we can see the rocket properly. Not to mention the terrain. Somehow now it has color. Booster set. Set and ignition. No, I got my avionics back. Okay. Well, not a whole lot different there, but I wasn't expecting too much. So let's see how it goes. That seems to be alright as far as the moon's concerned. It doesn't seem to want to show me my encounter very well. Much more finicky this time than usual. Yeah, the position of our apoapsis and periapsis wasn't great this time. Oh, we lost comms. Well, that's not good. Okay, well, we will wait in orbit. Well, that seems like a better opportunity. But 
electric charge wise where I activated the avionics we need to turn that off and we're actually going to jettison it now and use the RCS up well we can't use the RCS up here but we should be oriented the same way in theory so we should just jettison it now and hope that we can light but we won't be able to reorient with the RCS um So we have no avionics at the moment, but we have power, so that's important. Okay, we can do that much, it looks like. There you go. It's not the place we want to be doing this burn, right? It's not a periapsis, that's why we're taking extra. Timing was a little bit weird. Uh, 593. I don't think we've got this. Uh, I'm not surprised, but... Yeah. Uh, we've got another station down there. Let's try and use the little engines we've got here. But, yeah, we're not going to be able... We can maybe capture into orbit, but not that orbit. It's weird. Uh, these engines are all much more efficient than the one that we had on this stage before, the derivative of the ORM-65, but we seem to have more trouble getting into orbit around the moon. Uh, but this time it was just a weird initial orbit. Yep, just need lighter deep space avionics would be great. Okay, next engine. This one has three ignitions. Oh, it's not showing me stuff. <laughs> okay, I think we have an encounter, but it's not going to show it to me. Okay, well, Viola Zabo is trained up, so we can do that. Okay, we're a little bit too far from the moon. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to ignite it like that. Oops. Wish I could just smack it into the moon, but that's not the contract that we have. Okay, we're probably going to have to keep the rest just to orient, so we're not getting that close. But we don't have any science anyway. Maybe you'll act like a relay? I have no idea. Okay, go. No ignitions remaining. Yes, well, it's ignited. That's the important part. Uh, no. Retrograde. Looks like we're out of the RCS. Well, we're gonna make orbit. It's just not gonna be low enough. And we have reduced performance. All around. ISP and thrust. But they go for beyond its rate of burn time and everything. So we know that it's not that great at doing that, but um, yeah, it got into orbit, and it's just not what we need. So we'll have to look into that. Maybe it's time to debut my somewhat larger launcher. Uh, maybe that's what we need to do. In the next episode, I will introduce the Deneb launcher, which will have the Viking engines. I don't know whether that's a good thing or not, but we'll find out. And of course, we have trained up our Kerbal for the X-15, uh, or technically the X-2001 uh, launch. So hopefully we can see if she can get to 100 kilometers. So lots of stuff happening next time, but I'll leave it here with us having gotten to 80 kilometers on the hop and this sort of hanging out here. Not sure why we have so much extra nitrogen. But anyway, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.